Greetings survivors, Fayo here and in this guide I'm going to show you how to get through chapter 4 of the mission mode. The mission is called, it's not going to let us go. I actually managed to do this on my first try so the footage will be cut and optimized so you don't have to watch any filler. Now, unlike Mission 3 and Mission 5, this mission is not as much about optimizing what you are carrying and how to use it as it is about working around the mission-specific stealth mechanic that is introduced in this chapter. So, starting from the first building, of course, it's pretty much self-explanatory that you can grab everything you find and then you have to get into the car in order to proceed to the first segment of the mission. I'm gonna cut here and get to the site proper. So when you're done with the driving section we will be greeted by a bunch of deadites. These are very low HP, very low damage enemies. You don't really want to worry about them too much. One headshot will clean them up and the rest you can just fisticuff to death. It's really a very easy, easy portion of the mission. You're not gonna have any issues here. Of course, it would be a good idea not to get destroyed by them. Try not to get surrounded too much, but uh, a standard four punches combo for, from Pablo will just put them out of their misery. So, as I said, it's not big deal. In this section, you are just gonna have to move towards the exclamation mark Check what is there and you will be greeted by a screen. What you need to do after this, of course, is gather every provision that you see in front of you. Don't take too much time picking up stuff that you don't need or moving left and right and looking behind every rock. As I said, it's not as important as making good time because if you fail, well, you'll have to run it again. You don't want to try to pick up a thousand toothpicks before you get to the actual objective. So I'm gonna cut to the objective as we approach it. I'm gonna get back into the car and we're gonna move there. There is a high probability of finding a few deadites in the woods as you go towards the objective. You can just uh, slice and dice them with a machete and take them out. These guys again don't pose as a big threat. They are stronger than the ones found in the previous segment. These are like your run of the mill dead-eyed berserkers nothing special but you're alone here and you have a finite amount of resources so you might as well be careful so we're moving towards the objective it's a small trek in the woods here i found an enemy behind me i just take him out so i won't have to worry about him too much enemy placement the spawns are not an exact science so you might have an enemy that ventures too far away from you and never engages or you might have them all be on point and attacking you at the same time don't worry too much about it here the fog will envelop you as soon as you're about to enter the house one thing you should remember about these berserkers of course is that when their hp runs really low before the killing blow they will explode unless you kill them with a finisher so if you kill them with regular hits just move away from them before they explode you should be fine one dodge is more than enough distance so you will avoid all damage what you want to do now we're gonna get into the house search for everything that is there and as soon as you get the artifact that you're looking for you will get a message saying that you can sneak up on the deadites now the game will throw an exclamation mark in front of you after this prompt you just click accept you will see the red mark on your vision as you exit the house just move towards it and here's the first segment where we actually have to be stealthy some of the deadites will know you are there no matter what like this asshole behind me but those that are not actively looking at you, like that one back there, cannot hear you, will have no knowledge of your presence there. You just have to move at a safe distance and you will be able to grab the machete from here. Very good idea to grab the machete from here. Also, if you got damaged, you should heal, be at full health so you don't get killed 
if anything gets the drop on you. This enemy, I reckon, was a pretty easy target, so I picked it off. And then we have to move towards the little red hand there in the distance. A couple of enemies might attack you that actually are aware of your presence, but there are other enemies that will not know that you are there. Fight at your discretion. For me, fighting the enemies that don't know that Pablo is there are not worth the effort or the risk of using resources. And here I'm playing a bit carelessly. I didn't like optimize my supplies or anything like that. Ideally, you wanna get through this barn and enter the house where the hand is supposedly hidden. I'm just walking here because, you know, after so many years of playing stealth games, you'd think that just walking is safer than running. Grab the shems, drink it if you need to, and grab the hand. Not much in here except for these two items, and one is, of course, an objective. Here it says that the hand will not cooperate, it will just try to get away from you. So, onward again, hunting for the hand. Approach at your discretion and don't get sidetracked, there is nothing of importance around. Here you will be attacked by a demi elegus. When it splits, pay attention to which one of the enemies is the actual one, because the clone is extremely weak when it comes to its health. I am not sure if the OG gets weaker from splitting from the clone, but it's not that big of an issue to just deal with one of them. And if you kill the OG, the clone cannot reclone itself, so you just take it out. From what I understand, this one encounter cannot be avoided. You'll have to fight the semi elegus Here there was a trap. Take care of this little sucker. They need to add the lock on option in this game. Pronto. And there's a shed load of consumables and gear in here. Grab what you need. Especially when it comes to healing items. It's very, very important. There's an amulet. Use the amulet on you. And grab the hand when you are done. There's a lot of ammo on these shelves. Don't forget to grab it. Next amulet. And another cola here in the toilet. Someone was enjoying his soda when he was taking it down. As you can see, I'm being very thorough because I really didn't want to replay this mission. By the time you're about to exit this place, you should be pretty much full on health and amulets if you were playing a little bit more careful than I did. Because I spent a lot of items just getting smacked by enemies. I grab the hand here and there is another prompt. From this point onward, we have to take a kind of long trek, 233 meters towards that destination I'm gonna cut. You might get attacked by a couple of enemies along the way, but it's fine. As you approach, you'll get the message about stealthing again. And here I suggest you take my exact route because I was never attacked throughout this place, except if I initiated or it was a scripted encounter. In here you'll find Ash, kinda injured, and he'll tell you that you need to refill the car in order to be able to escape this messy situation. There will be an amulet beside him. Now we're building our economy really nicely. And from here it's just a matter of following my exact footsteps in order to get to the objectives without getting noticed. As you can see here, this simple Berserker has a very, very large health pool. I don't know why, maybe because you're supposed to evade him, but it took a lot of slicing and dicing to put him down. As you probably understand, getting in a fistica fight 
with two or three of these guys if you get detected is not the best idea so this is the only one that we will be fighting because i engaged him we're gonna walk towards the objective here and i'm not gonna comment on anything i don't need to i'm gonna walk you through every single one of the areas though and i'll be back when i need to add something to the situation just be advised there might be a few deadites in between this area so stay frosty Now this last canister here at Shokli Auto has a non-pleasant surprise waiting for us. The first one was still, the second was pretty much nothing, but the third brings an Elegus to the mix. And it's a standard Elegus fight where the enemy will teleport around, will try to throw rocks at you. And if he gets close, we're gonna attack with his electrical melee attacks. Ideally what you want to do here is hit it in the head with a ranged weapon. Here I was using a shotgun, I had to be careful to be at a, let's say, actually damaging range from the enemy, because it's a spread gun, but it will take a few shots to drop down. For me the best strat was moving around these barrels of oil here, so if it teleported at range trying to throw rocks at me i'd get behind these bottles and i'd be safe i would force it to come around my cover so it will have a line of sight with me and when it got close i could really make it feel the damage of the shotgun so here it teleports behind me again just to have a line on me and i keep unloading and eventually it will go down like a sack of potatoes now the good news are you just have to go to the reunion point there and you won't have anything else to do. As soon as you get into the car, you will just have to drive from point A to point B. There is a glitch at the moment, they will probably fix. You see two designators on your map, but it's actually one designator leading to the car. Open your map as I did and if you want check the fastest route so you can go there in a straight line there is no more combat from this point onward you just have to get in there and get out of here so guys i hope you enjoyed this guide i also produced a guide for the next mission in the same vein if you have any trouble missions three four and five are now covered i don't think mission one and two really uh, warrant a guide like this there were pretty simple and pretty easy but the last three missions are kind of tricky so sub like and share i will also be streaming this game regularly hit the notification bell if you want to watch the streams we'll be very happy to have you there i will cover class builds 
as soon as I level them up, I already did one for Ash from Army of Darkness, the Warrior class. You can check that out. And if you have any questions or need any additional help, just throw me a comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna leave you here with a commentary. What's the rest of the gameplay? Until next time, you will stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!